Gino, Ballinger, Eric Knowles, there's the man right there. All right, Gino. Romney, Bongino. There's another big Bongino. <laughs> Watch out All right. All right. Vote against the question five. There it is. Four, five, and six. <laughs> All right. Hey. Okay. And Karen holding up the rear. <laughs> First, uh, that's why we just really need some leadership here. Yeah, Make them feel comfortable. They've never, ever done it to a few doors with them at first, but our goal is to get people in there. That's what we cover around the um, They also, when you come back, this is where we also really need your leadership to make sure we can process the data. Although each person okay, thank in your you. team will have their own list for the most part, so we need you to compile it all on one master list, write master. Ideally, you'll have hit every house before you return for lunch in the hour. Orange definitely catches your attention. Tammy had a brainstorm. Hey everyone, thank you for Great job, great job. Oh my gosh, here's happy smile. He's the green guy. He's the green guy. Voter contacts. With just four days of people working on this since September 29th. And that's due to we've had great leadership teams. And speaking of leadership teams, I have to thank the folks who've been involved in this day. We have our co-chairs for this event. As mentioned before, Lewis Pope, thank you, and O.P. Ditch there with a video. This amazing, amazing man. Thank you, sir. From the Bongino campaign, we have Tanya Tiffany. And from, thank you, Tanya is great. From Frank's campaign, we have Dave Dobbs and Dottie Schneider. Thank you. From Eric's campaign, Eric has been closely involved in a wonderful leader, but we also have Ingrid and Kathy Harrison. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have Phil Bell from the MDGOP, who has been absolutely amazing doing all of these door lists. That is how we have gotten to 12,000 voter contacts in less than four days. I wanna say that education, this is where I wanna to go to today. Education. Experience is the best education that you can have. And in this uh, race that I've been doing, I've learned quite a bit. And the number one thing that I think that I've derived from this is that the key to all of this is an education. You have to educate our friends and our families and our neighbors. And this is where you come in. This is where all of us share the ex exact equal position and the exact same job. I can get out there and I can get on a microphone and I can go to debates and I can school, which I have recently, school two uh, sitting Congress people, um, Sarbanes and uh, Donna Edwards uh, in a recent debate. But as much as I can do this and, and make an impact, without each and every one of you doing the groundwork and talking to our friends, our families, and our neighbors, this message will be lost. It's obvious that I'm glad you guys are out here today, I'm glad you're doing what you're doing, and this fight will only be won if you all are willing to engage and continuously engage. There's no such thing as backing down, no such thing as saying, oh, well, we can't do this. I'm proof positive that you can get up there and you can, you can make a real difference. I'm turning Democrat votes all the time. I'm turning Democrat, even better, turning Democrats' hearts and minds because they're going to go and they're going to spread the message as well. So get out there, learn the message, go out there and preach it, and let's win one for Maryland. This is what Howard County Republicanism is about you taking on leadership and I appreciate that very much. So I just want to say one thing and then we're going to move on and I know we have a lot of great speakers is that the reason why I ask a lot of the kids as the kids and young adults to come up because I believe very strongly I am trying my best to fight for their future and your future. There is a big difference here in Howard County and how and in which way we want our school system to go. We need to make sure you put someone on the board that believes in, number one, fiscal responsibility. We need to make sure that the board spends your money properly. <laughs> I had a discussion at the forum with Delegate Frank Turner, and I told him this. You don't improve education by throwing more money at them. You improve education by getting parent involvement, by having great quality teachers, and allowing parents to choose 
where they want their son or daughter to go to school. And that's important here in Howard Town. I gotta tell you one other thing, and Nicolie's right on with her Super Saturday program, because it's a hand-to-hand -hand combat. You know, politics is a combat sport, and you've gotta get out and meet the people, and that's what this program is about today. We take a page from the notebook from Scott Walker in, uh, in Wisconsin, the governor of Wisconsin, because they hadn't elected a governor in Wisconsin and until 2010 they hadn't had a Republican governor in decades. But their state was in fiscal disarray, the billions of dollars in debt. Nobody gave him much of a chance to win, but lo and behold they raised the money and they set up an incredible door-to-door-to-door-to-door, person-to-person activity across the state of Wisconsin and they won. And when Scott Walker won in 2010, guess what he did? He did exactly what he said he was going to do, which was balance the budget, reduce empl public employees' uh, union credits. He uh, adjusted uh, collective bargaining, and the Democrats went berserk. They sat in the Capitol, and they said, we're going to recall this guy. No governor in American history had ever survived a recall. Not once. Every single time that happened, the governor was kicked out of office. The Democrats said, well, we got this guy dead to rights. We, uh, we got twice the number of signatures we needed on petitions, and they were raising millions and millions and millions of dollars. Well, guess what? The Republican National Committee and the Republicans of Wisconsin, which is just what we need to emulate here in the state of Maryland, they went out again with a door-to-door -door campaign calling, even though they were on even footing money-wise, we beat them. We beat them on the street. We beat them at the doors. We beat them on the phones. And when the recall election came up, in June of this year, guess what? Scott Walker won by a larger margin than he won the first time in 2010. I tell you that story because it's exciting, because it's exactly what our activity is today in the state of Maryland. It's door to door, and it's something a lot of you have never done before. But you will find that most people are friendly, they're receptive. I asked that you, uh, I actually brought an entire roll of Romney stickers. Um, I don't think anybody here is in formal wear. Put a sticker across your chest or across your, uh, well, I don't care what direction you have. We got Romney stickers in blue. We got them in white. If you don't have one on your car, please put it on your car. It won't hurt your car. The, uh, the best thing you can have, I give out 50 Romney stickers for every time anybody actually sticks one on their car. Stick it on your car. These last 17 days, it makes a difference. Wear one today. Wear a sticker. Be proud. The ball is in our court. We're going to win this thing. I'm excited. Thank you for your help. Go Romney. And let me tell you a little bit about uh, four, five, and six. Um, here's the way that I explain question four because that's the probably the one that's the more nuanced. It's about in-state tuition for illegals. Well, first of all, if they don't understand it, that they're illegals, then uh, there's the little disconnect there. But they will cut those admission slots from first-generation students in Prince George's County and Baltimore City and Montgomery County and every other subdivision in this state. So we're going to take away educational opportunities that we've been talking about all morning from United States citizens that live here in Maryland and give it to folks that are illegal for political gain. I think that's the wrong decision. Tony, can I interrupt you for yes, one sir. second? I don't know if you saw the Washington Post this morning, but the Washington Post editorial recommend that all Marylanders vote against question five right. in favor of congressional redistricting. Yep. And that's from the Washington Post. Right. <laughs> And uh, I don't know if you all also, uh, Peter Franchot, the third ranking Democrat in the entire state of Maryland, came out and blasted this map as well last week. So I think if Prince George and Montgomery County, if they get out there and do what they need to do, because they're upset about Don Edwards being in Anne Arundel County, if they get out there and do that, we will win question five. So the state has decided to redefine the, the conception of marriage. It's decided to cross the boundary of church and state. Now, if you're Republicans and you're conservatives, you should have a problem with that. Whether, whatever your belief is, where people, I mean, look, I, I have friends that are homosexuals, and I believe that they, have this, they should have the same legal rights in society. But that's the role of government. The role of government is not to supersede faith for the last 3,000 years. So, please. Um, in life is, as a, as a 25 year entrepreneurial uh, businessman, Frank firmly believes in you've got to control how you spend your money. We don't spend more than we make, 
Why should the government? So Frank's all about fiscal responsibility, making sure that the government passes a budget. That's really important that we pass a budget and that our congressmen and our senators pass the same kind of budget. One that's not going to overspend what we make and what we contribute. That's the first point. Now start around me here. The second point is, the second point is Frank's all about the entrepreneurship, putting the money into the small businesses. Frank's a small businessman and has been for years. He understands what it's like to hire people, to fire people, to pay the taxes, to make sure that the customers are satisfied. And only through the growth of America in small businesses is that's what it's going to take. And he believes in supporting that as well. Number three, Frank's all about, oh, I talked about representing. Uh, number three, Frank's about uh, less government. We have too many laws, too many regulations, too many everything out there. Why do we need that? We governed ourselves fine for the first 150 years of this country. Why do we need a law to say, oh, do I cross the street now or not? We don't. So Frank believes in those four things. Um, and, and that's his platform, that's his wife, and that's why Frank wants to represent you for the 7th Congressional District. One lost fighter. That lot. It's totally crazy. It's out of control. Okay, you're on candid camera, guys. Eat that pizza good. Okay, open wide. It's the congressional district lines. It's, uh, you know, they want to redraw the districts to give people different congressmen. Uh, that's the big question five on the ballot. Do you know about that? All right. If you, if you wanted to Google it, it would be, they'd show you a map. But, um, so I want to thank you so much for your time today. I just wanted to let you know that, you know, um, same-sex marriage and the DREAM Act, that people like Ben Cardin and Barack Obama are, are for those issues. And, and people like Romney and, and Bongino will be against it. And I, I hope you have a wonderful day. This call was paid for by the mayor of the Republican Party, and I thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. Sorry I missed you. Please come in and visit us. We're in the Normandy Shopping Center in Ellicott City, right above the Tuesday morning store. Or give us a call at 410-997-8683. Thanks so much, and have a great day. Awesome. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I got that one. Answer machines. <laughs> yeah, no, I keep getting them. <laughs> oh, Fred. What you got? Been on some doors? Knocking on some doors and piling on my master list. All right. All right. Cleaning up his list. All right.